Well everyone, welcome back to Heidi's Garage. Today we are going to be replacing the power valve cables and cleaning the power valves on this 2006 Arctica M7. So, we are going to take off these old cables that are all broken. Um, this one's like half zip tied together. This one's wobbling all over the place here. This one's kind of solid. They're all rusty, they don't move very well. So we're going to take these off, replace them with some new ones I got. And while we're at it, we're going to clean the the um, power valves out so if you guys want to see how to do that properly follow along and we'll show you how you do that okay so the first thing we have to do is take off the exhaust so that's here um, we're gonna take off this panel if you can see it take off this panel we can get to my can my can is just literally held on by a cotter key you pull the cotter key pull these three springs and the whole unit will lift right out off the Y pipe so that's what we're gonna do next um, then we can get to our power valves, which are underneath it, in our servo. Okay, so next thing we take off is this. This is a servo motor for the power valves. Um, so it controls the, the um, cables that run them. So we're gonna take this off. It comes off here and here. And these are studs on this little plate that wiggles around here. Take those off and it'll slide right out. We can get to the servo and we can disconnect the cables so that we can have better access to it. The socket size for this is an 11 millimeter socket for these nuts. Okay, so next thing we gonna do is pull these cables up to where we can reach them. We're gonna unplug this spark plug here. So that we can better reach it. We're going to pull this out as far as we can and then we have to disconnect the power cables that are going to it which is down here if you can see that. Uh, it's just your typical connector. Usually it's a push in. Push it in, pop it out just like that. So now we can remove the entire unit just like this with our cables attached. We're going to take the whole thing out with the power valves so we can clean everything and get everything correctly adjusted on it. So now let's pop these power valves out so we can uh, clean everything, inspect everything, make sure everything is uh, working correctly. So that's next. Okay, now with all the bolts off, we should just be able to give it a little tap and they should break loose just like these. And we should be able to pull the whole assembly right out of the sled. Power valve and on, just like that. So we should have two of those. Set this one like that. Like that. Now we can take these to the workbench and clean them all up. Make sure they're all nice and ready to rock and roll. Alright, so here are our two power valves, here is our servo motor that runs the two. So what we are going to do is we are going to take these cables off of the servo motor first and then disconnect them from here and then we will focus on cleaning these all up and getting them ready for the new cables. Okay, so to remove the cables we have to remove this clip here. To remove this clip we pry up on this, you can see this just like so, and then push the clip out. Don't lose this clip, you're going to need it again. And it'll just come right off. Now we can take the cables off by pulling and sliding out, pulling and sliding out. And that is how you take the cables off. So next up we're going to do is we're going to separate all of these components. So we're going to take this off, this off, and these off. Um, I like to try to save my gaskets as best I can. So if you have one that's sticking, just take a razor blade and just work it off of it. Just like with this one, I'm just going to work down and it'll pop off, just like that. And you have most of your gasket intact still. Same thing with this one. This one's giving me a little trouble here. Just gonna run this down, pop it off like that. So, now we have every component separated. We are going to take this all apart, clean everything, and put them all back together with the new cables. Okay, so we're gonna work on one at a time so we keep them um, separated. 
First thing we have to do is take this off, and this is held on by two Allen heads, so we're going to remove those. So next we are going to not lose these here bolts. We are going to remove the cable. So we're gonna pull the spring back. We're going to loosen this up. Now we should be able to separate everything. Just like that, that, pull your gasket it out and your power valve. We can clean these up. Now we can remove the cable which is in here. So you're just going to take it and slide it out enough. Yeah, I get the spring to go with it too. Need a little coaxing. so that we can slide it through that, just like that. Now you're gonna save this, this spring, and you're going to remove and discard this entire cable. So that's our whole cable. So this all looks pretty clean, pretty clean here. This thing was recently rebuilt, so everything is pretty clean. We're going to clean anything else off with a little bit of carb cleaner, so just a quick spray down here. Like that. And then we are going to clean the power valve off with it. Scrub it with a brush. Let's clean everything off. Alright, so we got everything cleaned up. Uh, this is about how clean I get my power valves. I mean, you can get them cleaner. It's up to you. This is what it seems like normally works for me. Just getting the big buildup of carbon off of it. We are going to now reassemble uh, this one, and then we are going to do the same to the other one. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece, and we are going to stick our power valve in this little spot here. So it goes in, goes in, just like that, and it pops in, seals on that little seal in there. Okay, next we're going to put this in this, we're going to slide this through. Stick it in there, let it pop in. We're gonna slide this spring on it. Trying not to catch the other spring. Set that in there. We are going to take our little block here. We're going to stick it on. So, it's just gonna slide like up into there, on. Now that's locked in. Pull this a little tighter. This will go on here, like so. Now we get the sticker block on. The long end of the block goes on the long end of this, which correlates to the long end of where this bump out is on the casting. Put your through screw into it and like you took it off. Now screw it together. The next thing we're going to put on is the keeper cap for the top of the power valve. We're going to take the two Allens that we took off, put the new keeper on. I'm just going to 
tighten them somewhat tight because I need to rotate these depending on how my power valve is going. And that is how you put one of those back together. Alright, so I'm going to do the next one right here. Um, so it's the same procedure. Um, just like this one was. I'm going to take it apart, clean it, put everything back on with the new cables, and then we will hook it to the servo motor. Try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test uh, Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next, yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession. All, in his all right, so we have all of them assembled. Uh, we are going to go and hook these up. As you see, I already have this one in, so we're going to do the same thing with this next one. We're going to take this end here, we're going to slide it in, push it into its little, little spot here. And then we're going to wrap it around, pull it, and slide it into that right there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, our little piece here that we took off. We are going to stick it on. It goes on top of these little shelves here and it helps hold it in so it doesn't fly off. And you just simply snap it on. Like that. Now it's on, we're ready to rock and roll. We were gonna stick this in the sled and uh, see how it does. All right, so we have our new cables and our servo motor assembly with the power valves attached. We are just gonna set the power valves here right now. As, well, maybe we'll put the, maybe we'll put the power valves in first. All right, so, slide these, we're gonna slide these in here, just like so, and then just like so. Now they are in. I think we're going to go ahead and bolt these down so that they stay in. They're all nice and snug. We're not taking them off as you're moving these cables around. So go ahead and put your bolts back in that you took off. I'm not going to torque them tight, I'm just going to snug them down. We're going to go ahead and plug our servo in. Alright, so we're going to go get our cover for it and put that on. Alright, so next we're going to put our cover on. So it just slides over everything. This is a new one. Uh, that was 3D printed. Next thing we do is just tighten up our power valve cables here and then secure them. Okay, we're going to zip tie right to here to eliminate as much bounce as we can so that the cables do not break. Here. And then we will go ahead and put our pipe back on. We're just going to tighten these up, just hand snug like that, like that. And then uh, finish tightening these up. 
Possession, you got the retention. I leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion. Your mind is a weapon. 11 11, it's time for progression. Oh, you could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. And that is how you remove and, and reinstall and inspect and clean your power valves on the 2007 Articat M7. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. <laughs>